in terms of if you're going to just throw LeBron James in the middle of the season on the team, I don't think – and maybe maybe he will. You know, he's older. He's one of the smartest players in the NBA. Maybe he will just be like, you know what, let me just buy into the system. Everything that led up to this point, and he showed me, shows me, he does not just buy into systems really well, at least to what I know. Maybe I just don't know systems. But it everything has a shift wherever he goes that favors how he likes to play ball or what he's more comfortable with. I just don't see him being able to go into Kings and being like, all right, bet I'm going to fulfill a super Harrison Barnes role. Like, I don't. Mm. I don't see. I do think the Kings is too motion heavy for LeBron, but he does play off the ball. I just don't think the Kings is a great fit. But he does. And respectfully, to take, and, and to take the ball out of his tripping, yeah. tripping. Why, Doc? Why, why, Ron? Because it's. Do you know the talent that we're talking about? I can appreciate that, the, but the, 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 just, the experience just win because of you are more talented. No, that's not the way you win. No, that's I, not. I, and on top of that, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Who coaches the Kings? Mike, Mike Brown, the, okay. ma- the man who said that when LeBron was twenty one, he just said, "F the playbook, just, just get out the way, right? Just get out the way." Be you and let him out. Get with, out the with way three, and let him With three supreme playmakers, I, I think that they get it done over there. I mean, you know, you know, you know how that goes. Not... I mean, Russ was a great playmaker, and that didn't work. And I'm not saying De'Aaron Fox is Russ. I'm just saying if you have multiple guys who playmake in similar ways, which is you require the ball in your hands to make plays for other people. They're not all providing that playmaking value on a per possession basis, because but in order for LeBron to be a great playmaker, he has to have the ball and make decisions. Which means De'Aaron Fox is not being a great playmaker on that possession. Same thing with Sabonis. So if you have that many great playmakers, they're not all providing that value at the same time. So yeah, but you, but you, you, you I think, I think you, I think you're uh, not not bringing up the fact, maybe purposely. That the same person doesn't have to play make every time, and on top of that, they're yes. not. That's not all they can do. So when you look at it that way, it's like, okay, so if I got three guys that can can distribute fairly well, more than likely it's going to be one of them with the ball on every possession. So that, mm-hmm. if you ask me, it means it's it's more chance that we make good plays. On top of that, Harrison Barnes isn't really like the the get it and go type, like Demontis is, De'Aaron is, you know, LeBron is. So now it's like with that with that being said, now we're getting even quicker even quicker on the break. De'Aaron Fox, I think De'Aaron really wants to score. So it's like, all right, bro, all right, now we now we just feeding you. So I, I, while, while we're saying we have so many good playmakers, I think if we had a guy like Bron, that just allows Keegan Murray and De'Aaron Fox to score the basketball. It does. I, I'm not, I, I, like, I like the squad. I'm not saying, like, I hope that it happens or nothing crazy like that, but <clears throat> that would be dope, though. I, I just think I think Le- LeBron James is – a step, a, a obvious, still even to this day, a step above Harrison Barnes, with the other things that he brings. That's, I just, I just, I just oh, go ahead, go ahead. Yo, he's a mountain oh, above. Man, we still respect, respect well, Harrison. And, bro. Respect and on top of that, Bron now has shown the ability to stretch the floor. De'Aaron is shooting a whole lot better. Sabonis, so he doesn't shoot him a lot. If Bron got there, he would probably shoot him more. But Sabonis so can stretch the floor. So these guys are still threats without the ball in their hand. Sabonis so can do what? Sabonis so can stretch the floor. No, he can't, Ron. That's not his game. Yes, he can. He's it's not his game. No, I, just, I, just, I started by saying he doesn't shoot much, but Sabonis can shoot the ball. Competent. I don't think I don't think with Bron he just starts shooting more. I think the I think this is the I think this is Demontis offense. Like when he get when he's feeling it, he'll start shooting that three a little bit more. But I don't think he's I don't think that's gonna make him pass and shoot it more. Um I, not at all. But still, I, I just I just that. like you put you put Braun on the team that's already a low <laughs> a low a low, a low. three from the field. On one three a game. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. We need to stop just using percentages to tell pe- to say people can shoot. Draymond shoots 43 percent from three this year. That doesn't. He's not stretching the ball over the his. Ball. They leave. I, I, they I, leave I, him I, wide open and say go ahead and shoot. Mars. I watched the bonus, I watched bonus play more than anybody here. I watched him every game no. at Gonzaga. So bonus had. So bonus has shot. Has always been able to shoot the ball. That's he's just not a high but, but Ron, Ron the, the thing is, the thing is, Ron, it's like it's like this this argument. The fact, the fact that he only shoots one, only the fact that he doesn't shoot a lot of threes is neither uh, it's neither you know what I'm saying a plus or a, a minus. Like okay, yeah. that's that's one thing. What are we even talking about that for? He only shoots one again. I'm he's not arguing about not, the volume. He's I'm not. A, but I'm what, what I'm saying is that's that not that's not. Yeah, but y'all, but you, but then when y'all respond to Ron saying that, y'all respond to it like, oh, this is that, like, it's a negative. Like, nah, it's, it's not a negative. It's not a negative. You know I, mean? no, I, I, I didn't say that. I just said he can't stretch the floor, and he's right. Well, what I'm, what I'm saying is, see, 
he could be a, he could stretch the floor if he shot it more. I don't know. He, I don't think I don't think he stretches the floor as far as his shooting. He stretches the floor to me because you have to p- apply pressure. A lot of people awesome. think if his yeah. passing. So if a lot of people think if I back off him, it's gonna make it's gonna make me now nah, you have to apply pressure to a passer. So I think he stretches the floor in that way. Not not in his not in his shooting ability. He stretches the floor because you have to pick him up. When you got a big guy like that that attacks that goes coast to coast, you can't meet him at the free at the three point line. You have to stop the ball early because he's coming like a freight train. So I got I got to stop him on this side of the half court, slow the ball down. There that way he stretches the floor. I think Demontis does stretch the floor, just not by his shooting. That's fair. That is I'm fair. Fine with that. He, yeah, he, I'm, he, that's he, fair. He, with that being said, Big Ox, to add James to this offense means that you have to change the offense because that offense is constructed not just around Sabonis' ability to pass and how, mm-hmm. how how Fox plays, but also how Harrison Barnes plays. They're not just running that offense the way that they're running it because of Fox and Sabonis. They're not just plugging in somebody else to, to fill Harrison Barnes' role. You can't plug in James, who does everything that Sabonis does, who does everything that Fox does, and mm-hmm. expect that offense to run as fluently as it does with, right. with James in it especially considering James plays off the ball. And when James plays off the ball, Mars, James plays off the ball more like in a more like in a in a visionary zone. Like I'm watching the action. He's not playing off the basketball with him being involved in the action. There's not a lot of James down screens, back screens and things like that. No, that's not a lot going on. The offense in San Antonio, San Antonio, I'm sorry, in Sacramento, that offense is constructed that way though. That's why they play off of Sabonis the way that they play off of him. A lot of a lot of action off the basketball. A lot of guys moving around. So if you want to take James off of you're going to take Harrison Bonds off that crew and put James on there. Now James has now James has to move more. He's got to take he's got to be off the basketball. He's got to be on the basketball less and he has to move more. I haven't really seen him that much in that kind of offense. Mm-hmm. Especially that, at this that, was my, that was my concern with him yeah. off the board. I, I agree. I agree yeah. he plays off the ball, but the Kings are so heavy motion and LeBron mm-hmm. at this point doesn't really move. That's that's an even fairer point. Like that's a fact more. So. <laughs> like, that, that, that's what I'm saying like I yeah, think LeBron, a LeBron, LeBron's a good cutter, um, and he has a good feel for those things, and he can hit a spot up shot. But how comfortable is LeBron James setting pin downs for Keegan Murray? How comfortable right. is he coming with calls? How comfortable right. is he actually coming off screens and doing those type of things? Uh, he didn't really do that before. But when he did do it, he was actually pretty good. And now he's thirty nine, and you're asking him to do it. Yeah. I don't think that's. I don't think that's going to happen. I think you're going to end up getting in a situation <laughs> where. When the brother doesn't have the ball, it's very stagnant. Hey. Uh, it's